Every year at BNEF, we take a deep dive look into how much money is being invested in the low carbon energy transition. That's money being spent by governments, by businesses and by households on the deployment of low carbon technologies like renewables, that's wind and solar, electric vehicles, battery storage, hydrogen, carbon capture, sustainable materials, all these different areas. We found that in 2021, $755 billion was invested in the energy transition globally. It was growing strongly, 27% year-on-year growth in 2021. And actually that number has doubled since 2015, which was when the Paris Agreement was signed. The biggest sector is renewable energy. That's primarily wind and solar power. And that was worth about $366 billion in 2021. That's about half of the overall total. And growing reasonably well at about 6%. But the real standout sector was electrified transport or electric vehicles. That was worth about $270 billion, but it grew at 77% year on year. So that means if you know, that level of growth is hit again this year, which we have no reason to believe it wouldn't be, then electric vehicles will actually overtake renewable energy in terms of the size of the market, the size of investment within this year, which is a very exciting change. So we see a lot of positive trends. Um, there is one kind of less good thing, and that is when we kind of zoom out and think about how much investment is needed to meet the goals of the Paris Agreement. Now at COP26 in Glasgow last year, countries agreed to commit 90% of their emissions to net zero by around the middle of this century. That, that was a huge, um, huge lifting in ambition over the, you know, over the past year. It means that investment is going to have to rise very quickly. According to our analysis, investment would need to reach about $2 trillion per year in the first half of this decade and about $4 trillion per year in the second half of this decade to meet that goal of getting to global net zero by around the middle of this century. So that means our $755 billion that we saw last year needs to roughly triple in the first half of this decade and then double again in the second half of this decade. So that's the challenge that we face in front of us.